Well, I've worked over the last uh, 40 years with children, and probably 10 of that I uh, spent with a group of people, mainly based in Liverpool, but uh, from around the world, in fact, America, France, and, and indeed England, trying to redefine the, uh, the word play, which always is seen by lots of grown-up people, big people, as being something that's fairly purposeless. In fact, play is probably one of the most important things that we do, both as children and as adults. It's, it's something that you choose to do. As soon as you say to someone, go and play, they've stopped playing. They have to choose to do it themselves. It has value to the person. It's intrinsically motivated. It's not something that you can say has a definitive end or a definitive start. And from that, there's a whole series of thoughts about you know, what, what makes the best play opportunities. And I think one of the things that makes the best play opportunity is to give children as much choice as possible. We work a system called Owned Choice here, where the children choose for themselves. Within boundaries, uh, it's got to be safe, not, not carefully safe, but with lots of challenges but, and some risks, but safe nonetheless. And in environments where there's a whole range of resources, which are truly descriptive, which are open-ended, um, and being allowed to go in outside when you want to or stay inside, not to worry when it's raining. You know, if, as some of your often, one of the often quoted things is, play is something uh, that is done in all weathers, and there's no such thing as bad weather, just the wrong clothes or the wrong outlook to, to, to using them. Um, play is uh, an essential in life. You only have to look at what was going on in sort of Romania and Bulgaria and other places where, where children were restricted in, in restrictive regimes and they ended up as relative vegetables. In fact, the French uh, did some experiments in the 70s with animals, I know it's not very popular these days, where they deprived them of play and the animals died. So in some senses, play is perhaps the most important thing that can go on in life. It's really important that we adults understand that play is a choice for the, for the child, child and indeed for ourselves, not something that we can tell them to do for 15 minutes in the morning or 15 minutes in the afternoon.